Hi everyone, today we're back snow plowing. It seems like every week guys we're back pushing snow here we just got around 7 inches overnight and I think we're going to be getting some more towards the weekend here so it's going to be a busy time. Uh, so today we're going to be hopping in the work truck here I'm going to do a few driveways and then we are actually going to be spending most of the day in some big machinery uh, moving a lot of snow at some parking lots here so let's hop in the F-250. It's only 5 degrees out guys so it's going to be a nice cold start. That power stroke sure does sound pretty good here, but guys, I'm just excited. Although we do get a lot of snow, we do work long hours. It's great uh, to bring the camera along here. And I think, guys, today I'm probably going to do a lot more engine sounds and more of just kind of the gameplay sound instead of commentary uh, to change it up just a little bit there. So let me know if you guys like that here. But Elm Creek, guys, has gotten so much snow here. It's almost like we get a foot of snow every single week. Which is great for us here. You guys can see we are making a lot of money. All this money is snow plowing is really just a bonus to what we do uh, throughout the season with it, the landscaping business. I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far here. Mine's been a bit busy and it, it has been pretty cold here. But guys, it is just great uh, to be back here. Hopefully I could do some more real life snow blowing. I think that would be a pretty cool thing and definitely see if I could uh, make some cool videos doing that as well here. But snow plowing, guys, I've always enjoyed it. Even just watching the uh, plow trucks come through the town here is pretty awesome. Uh, they definitely are very busy people when it snows. We should be good to go with all the driveways here, only a few because we need to get the parking lots all cleared on out. So all of our commercial lots guys have a zero tolerance for snow. That means no matter if there's an inch or seven inches, the lot has to be cleared here which means that we are always busy even with just a dusting of snow and you guys can see so it's this entire complex I believe it's a paint store a grocery store and then there's a small hardware store next to it which is a pretty awesome here so we've all the equipment parked out front this is gonna be a lot of fun here for us but well I will really quickly check my phone and a few things and then we'll get going Oh man, guys, it's cold here, already freezing. It is pretty windy as well here, but today, guys, we're going to be using the John Deere 524K. Uh, this is kind of a mid-sized wheel loader, but we have a brand new plow here for you guys. And see, this is a Metal Plus. This is a very, very popular plow here. This thing, guys, is going to be able to move a lot of snow here. Although it's heavy, this thing does a really good job scraping right down to the asphalt here. I believe it's about... 12 to 16 feet uh, with the wings folded out here, which uh, works out here for us. And we also do have the Bobcat T76. We're going to be using this here quite a lot on all the small areas we can't get with the big loader here. And we have a 5 foot uh, box plow that extends to 10 feet. So that does work out here for us. But hey, why don't we hop in the loader? Let's get this thing warmed up and we'll get going. This guy's is serious business here. We are going to be able to move a lot of snow, which I am pretty excited for. Now, using Xbox controller, guys, really does help out with the maneuverability of these wings here. You could really put the wings exactly where you want it, which is good for us here. Now, one thing I always know, uh, the last few times I plowed here, I did end up sliding down this hill, so I have to be pretty careful. We definitely don't want to repeat it, take out that sign. That is a pretty expensive one, and we are once again uh, sliding. Trying to put the plow in floats is always a little tricky on a hill here, but oh boy, guys, we just continue to slide here. Let me just keep readjusting it. Oh yeah, I think that we got it fixed there. And we'll see if we get the wings fully folded out to make a full 12 to 16 foot pass.
Now we did have a little bit of snow kind of fly up over the top there, but look at that guys. We just plowed the entire parking lane in only a pass here. That's just how efficient uh, this loader is with this uh, configuration here. If you have the right equipment, you could get the job done in really short amount of time here. But let's see guys if we could get this one cleared. We aren't going to be able to make the fence uh, gates here. It's a pretty small one, but we could just adjust the uh, wings in here. You guys can see though, this is awesome. And now I am working on getting the mods list and all that like I did back in FS19 uh, as well. Let's see here, a little bit uh, of momentum sometimes is needed to get going here when you do have a huge, huge plow uh, that is uh, kind of scraping along the uh, ground here. A little bit of cleanup work with the skid in there. We have it, guys. This does uh, definitely speed up the process. And this uh, actually is a really good scrape here. Now, one thing I am noticing, I'm pushing so much snow. And it's actually coming up over the top of it here. So maybe need to take a little bit less snow every single pass here. But, I mean, hey, that's a good thing if it's coming up over the top. And it's still doing a pretty good clean uh, scrape here. But I think the loader configuration is pretty good here. Now, these do seem to be dirt tires. And I am having a lot of slipping and sliding here. So might need to look into uh, get, uh, putting a new set of shoes on this for next season. I think it's time to switch to the Bobcat here. We did most of the big work here with this, and we just have a lot of uh, kind of clean up here. I really don't want to be getting too close to the cars, especially with a big wheel loader like this. We don't want to be scraping pain here because if we end up hitting a car, all the profit for today is out the window. That's probably the best way to put it. Uh, so let's hop in the Bobcat here, but I think it's definitely going to have to get warmed up here for a few minutes. Now I'm going to go from a nice warm cab to a freezing cold cab here but hopefully after maybe five ten minutes uh, the heat finally gets going 
With the Bobcat, guys, I definitely need to get some different tracks here on it. These, I don't think, are kind of the multi-purpose ones, but I think the snow tracks are the way to go here. Now, the plow we do have is also a bit heavy, which probably weighs on the suspension quite a lot here, but it's so exciting, guys, uh, to see some new snow plows coming into the game here. Hopefully, we could get some more maps soon uh, that have working seasons here. I have noticed there are some pretty good maps, but I, I just can't get any snow to kind of show up on them here which definitely oh, would be a lot of fun if we can here but you guys can see this small box plow is going to be perfect for this and we'll be able to get right up close to cars we'll probably stay a foot foot and a half uh, that way uh, we uh, don't end up slotting into them here especially with the slippery uh, asphalt here it's not the way to go here but wow guys we are making really good progress we should be done probably right before lunch time to go get some Casey's pizza or maybe some just fast food Well guys, I think I'm going to do the last little bit of touch up here and then I need to ca uh, call a guy uh, to drop some salt down to help with any ice that's left behind. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That Metal Plus did a lot of work here for us and it really did help us on out here. But until next time guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.